Good morning, and welcome to Gilead Lutheran Church. I have a couple of things that we need to talk about this morning. One, I do not know how many of you know, but nobody has been able to contact Leonard this week. So, doing a little investigation, we have found that he is in Sunnyview in Schenectady. Um, as I understand it, he had a fall. We don't know when, but he's over there for rehab. Where he's going to go from there, we don't know. Whether he'll be able to go back to his apartment or whether he's going to need an assisted living. Secondly, many of you have received an email or a phone call from me this week. Um, I understand this is Pastor Hans last Sunday with us. So you are all invited after the service to join us downstairs and we'll have a little coffee reception for him and wish him well. May is the month of cereal. Um, I see from the back we're doing pretty well with it. 17. Okay, so first week was 17. I understand last month we killed it with a tuna. Not only killed the tuna, we canned it and brought it here. Um, are there other announcements? Oh, Eleanor. Okay, we can send him to Sunnyview for now. I don't know. We'll try to find out how long he's going to be there. And I'll try to update you next week. I know my phone's been ringing. I've had my detective hat on. Uh, a few other people have joined me doing that. Again, are there any other announcements? Enjoy your worship.
begin with a confession. Together in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hid, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves. And the truth is not in us. But if we confess our sins, God, who is faithful and just, will forgive our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Most merciful God, we confess, confess that, that we are bound to sin and cannot free ourselves. We have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done. And by what well, we have left undone, we have not loved you with our whole heart, we have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us, forgive us, renew us, and lead us, so that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your holy name. Amen. Almighty God, in his mercy, has given his Son to die for us. And for his sake, he gives us all our sins. As a called and ordained minister of the Church of Christ, and by his authority, I therefore declare to you the entire forgiveness of all your sins, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you all. Amen. Amen. We're going to share God's peace with one another.
shares the good news of Jesus with a Gentile soldier and his family. The Holy Spirit comes upon them, recognizing that the Spirit works inclusively in the lives of both Jews and Gentiles. Peter commands that these Gentiles also be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. The first reading is from the 10th chapter of Acts. While Peter was still speaking, the Holy Spirit fell upon all who heard the word. The circumcised believers who had come with Peter were astounded that the gift of the Holy Spirit had been poured out even on the Gentiles, for they heard them speaking in tongues and extolling God. Then Peter said, Can anyone withhold the water for baptizing these people who have received the Holy Spirit just as we have? So he ordered them to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Then they invited him to stay for several days. Here ends the reading. The Psalmist 98 will be sung responsibly. Jesus 
delivers a final testimony to his disciples to help them in the days ahead. Here he repeats the most important of all his commands, that they love one another. The Holy Gospel according to St. John, the 15th chapter. Jesus said, As the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. I have said these things to you, so that my joy may be in you, and that your joy may be complete. This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. No one has greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I do not call you servants any longer, because the servant does not know what the master is doing. But I have called you friends, because I have made known to you everything that I have heard from my Father. You did not choose me, but I chose you. And I appointed you to go and bear fruit, fruit that will last, so that the Father will give you whatever you ask him in my name. I have given you these commands so that you may love one another. The Gospel of our Lord.
It is unconditional, everlasting, sacrificial, and perfect. Agape and love is the very love that the Father has for the Son, that the Son has for us. It's the type of love we are to abide in. It's the type of love that makes our joy full and complete. Now this Sunday's image of the life of the risen Christ shares with us is agape presented in the image of friendship. Agape, not phileo. Friendship with Jesus Christ runs deep. We are called to serve others as Jesus came to serve. But for John's gospel, the image of, ser image of servanthood is too hierarchical, too distant to capture the essence of life with Christ. Friendship captures, captures the love, the joy, the deep mutuality, and the relationship into which Christ invites us. The Greeks believed that true friends were willing to die for each other. This is the mutual love of Christian community, commanded by Christ and enabled by the Holy Spirit. Friendship was expressed well by Bill Withers in his hit song from 1972, Lean On Me. How many of you remember that one? Lean On Me. Said, he sings, Lean on me when you're, when you're not strong, and I'll be your friend. I'll help you carry on, for it won't be long till I'm going to need somebody to lean on. As Jesus said, I am giving you these commands so that you may love one another. And so I give thanks to God for the friendship we have shared over the past several years. For much of my time with you, my role has officially been as worship leader once, maybe twice a month, but yet I always felt as though I was your pastor whenever I was with you. I treasure your respect for me, and I fervently hope you accept my love and my respect for you and your ministry. God bless you. Amen.
our faith together in the words of the Nicene Creed. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, of one being with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven by the power of the Holy Spirit. He became incarnate from the Virgin Mary and was made a man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended to heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again, glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, with the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Rejoicing that Jesus is risen and love is triumph over fear. Let us pray for the church the world, and those in need of good news. Your Holy Spirit falls upon all who hear the word. Fill your church with the gifts of your spirit, and give understanding arts to those who strengthen our commitments with our ecumenical and interreligious partners. God of grace, you, you, are are prayer. Prayer. you speak and the face of the earth is renewed. Revive your creation that habitats and every kind of living thing might flourish. Protect endangered species and help us to care for all your creatures. God of grace, hear our prayer. Your world is divided and the nations rage. Grant wisdom and vision to world leaders that they may seek justice, peace, and the good of all. Strengthen international partnerships and cooperation. God of grace, hear our prayer. Your children are in need. Comfort all those who suffer, especially those afflicted by anxiety, depression, and mental illness. Help us to be conduits of your love in our care for one another. God of grace. Hear our prayer. Your work is done in this place with our hands. Bless the ministries of this congregation that we may embody your love for the world. Inspire those who plan and lead worship, council members, committee members, and volunteers. God of grace, hear our prayer. Your blessed saints now rest to rest in you. Give us thankful hearts for those who have gone before us. At the last, bring us all together around your heavenly banquet table. God of grace, hear our prayer. Into your hands, most merciful God, we commend all for those for whom we pray. Trusting in your abiding love through Jesus Christ, our resurrected and living Lord. Amen. Amen.
which you have first given us, ourselves, our time, and our possessions, signs of your gracious love. We receive them for the sake of him who offered himself for us, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.
body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ strengthen you and keep you in his grace. Thanks be to God. 